So Sagittarius, let me see what is in store for you guys here. I was telling the previous sign, the Scorpio reading, uh, the Scorpio people, that I'm doing the reading in a different format, just so I can um, try to, I guess, like narrow down different scenarios that you guys might be dealing with. Okay. So let me talk about this, and this is something that I picked up in the general reading. Many of you are in a situation here, it's not entirely healthy, this is not a, a, a healthy relationship, okay, where there's a lot of fears of the unknown. If I leave this relationship, what's going to happen to me financially, romantically, and even um, just personally, spiritually, emotionally? And so I feel like this is keeping yourself stuck in a very uncomfortable situation because you fear the unknown. You don't want to start over. You don't want to, you know, create a new path for yourself here with the death card in the reverse. And you might be dealing with a partner who might not be completely 100% honest with you. The, a uh, the Ace of Swords in the reverse usually indicates some type of a hidden truth the truth not being spoken out loud, or you might deal with someone who's very, very, very evasive, okay? They're evasive when they talk. They're not giving you the whole story. They might omit things. They might lie by omission. But I feel like there's something off with their story. So when they're telling you, you know, I'm out with the guys or I'm out with the girls, you don't really buy it. And then when they're telling you, yeah, I was, a, you know, away for four days straight on a business trip, or... I had to work overtime, you know, two weekends in a row. And I feel like, you know, those alarms in your head are going off and you're just like, wait a minute, that doesn't sound right. And so you can't, you don't have like concrete evidence in order to remove yourself from this situation. But your intuition t is telling you that something's off. And if you don't make changes, you're going to end up stuck in this situation, never knowing the answer and just keeping yourself stuck because it is a safe environment, but it's not entirely the best for you. So if you are at all here dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra, I feel that you want to have these face-to-face, -face, heart heart-to-heart conversations so you can dig at the truth. And if this at all sounds familiar, you want to be a little bit careful about, you know, where you're giving your power away and whether or not this is something, this is the life that you've envisioned for yourself, okay? Because it doesn't feel to me like it's a good environment, all right? So we're looking at different scenarios is um, the purpose of this reading. I'm sorry for all the reversals. Okay. You've got somebody who's like controlling the purse strings here. I have here an, uh, a water sign. So this is a Pisces, a Scorpio, or a Cancer. Sun, moon, or rising. So I want to say like, at their, this is male or female, okay? At their best. At their best. I feel like they can be very, very romantic. They can, uh, when you interact with them, when you talk to them, they look straight into your eyes and they make you feel like you're the only person in the room. They can be a little bit like, um, I want to say, they're very sensual. And I feel like the, the chemistry, the attraction is very strong with this person. When it's in the reverse position, it can indicate manipulation. It can indicate somebody who's kind of like using your emotions against you. Either they are telling you, I love you, so I do all of these things, you know, and they're not great things. Or they can tell, they can guilt trip you into doing something the way that they want. And as I'm saying that, I feel like this might not even be a water sign. It could be somebody who's like using your emotions against you. You know, if they're, they could even tell you, like, if you leave me, where are you going to go? And it triggers your fears because they're using your fears against you. Or they can say, like, we've been together for so long. If you leave me, what am I going to do? Well, that's manipulation, okay? And 
what they're going to do, if you already decided to leave them, what they're going to do, that's, that's not up for debate anymore. That is irrelevant. So I feel like somebody is kind of like using your feelings against you. And it's not entirely, um, it's not entirely healthy, okay? Um, I do see there's a lot of jealousy coming up with you and this person. So it could be a water sign or it could be somebody who's just, you know, manipulating your emotions. Um, I feel like they moved out into the world and they are being met with a lot of struggles financially. They're being met with a lot of struggles professionally. They're not able to create um, a good, stable foundation for themselves. And I do feel that when you, you were with them, they kind of drag you down with them. Okay, they might have isolated you from your friends. They might have que made you question your reality. And I honestly feel like there might have been some emotional abuse either with this person or in the relationship between you and this person. Some type of, I feel like it, it's not healthy. The moon in the reverse deals with depression. It deals with isolation. It deals with this person who, um, who might be very either like um, emotionally, like very up and down. It could be like bipolar where they're really happy and elated one minute and they're down in the dumps the next. Or they have trouble regulating their emotions or the relationship itself. It was a major source of depression for you because you felt very alone and isolated. So even, you know, when this person was at their best, where they showed you how much they love you and they have the tendency to, they, they have the capabilities to be quite romantic. But together as a couple, it's almost like you didn't have a sense of direction. You, you were kind of fumbling in the dark and things got really confusing. You didn't know what to believe and you didn't know what's real. So I feel like many of you are, you have realized this. You're moving away from this. So it's not like I feel like you're still in it. I feel like you have moved on away from it. And there's a lot of mental clarity. It's kind of clearing things up for you. And you're looking back at this relationship partner. And there might even be communication coming in from this um, person from your past. And it's going to trigger some things. It could trigger, you know, if you have children together, it could trigger some disputes regarding ownership. If you're trying to make a move in your life, for example, change your geographical location, change jobs, I feel like this is a person that can come in and try to, you know, throw a wrench in the works. No, you can't go. What am I going to do when you go? Or what are the kids going to do without me in the picture? So I feel like they're interfering in your love life in some way. They're interfering in your family life in some way. And there's still a very strong presence of this person still lingering in your environment, okay? It's not a healthy relationship. There's a lot of deception here. You need to be careful, Sagittarius. So first of all, we have here the Fool, and the Fool is making a change. It's about, you know, embarking on a new phase in your life and um, not fearing that you're going to be met with disappointment and regrets, okay? So it's kind of like staying very, very optimistic so that you don't wallow in self-pity, so that you don't, don't end up in this situation where you're just like, I'm going to stay because I feel bad for the other person, okay? Each, peop, uh, each person that we encounter in life, they have their own free will. So it's not our will to stay and be martyr in a situation and be like the martyr for somebody else. So I feel like many of you are fearful about leaving because you don't want to um, upset the other person or you, do, you, you feel bad and you're just like, I don't know how the other person is going to live without me because, you know, that guilt trip has been triggered. And so my advice here is you need to take care of yourself. You need to really figure out where you're headed and you really need to uh, make decisions a little bit more deliberately, okay? We have as well 
the hermit, and this is your spirit guides trying to reach out to you. They're trying to show you the right way. They're trying to offer divine protection. And they're trying to tell you, no matter how bad things are right now, you need to implement something new. We're going to show you what you need to do in order to get yourself to a cleaner, highly elevated state. We're going to show you how you can, you know, end that chapter in your life so that you can begin anew. So I feel like you are turning your back here on higher intuition. And I feel like a lot of it is just fear of the unknown. And a lot of it, too, stems from the fact that some of you are at a point where, you know, it's uh, your... The, the energy has shifted where this bad situation has become kind of like your new normal and then as a result of it you don't really see anything else you don't see anything else that can be better or you can't really envision that something else is better that's waiting for you out there so you need to do a lot of I want to say clearing away old energies okay and you have not a practical choice and so you're hanging on biding your time and I feel like you can put up with a lot. Um, however, once again, you know, when is enough? When is it going to be that point where it's an emergency and then you can break yourself free from this? Okay, so make some deliberate decisions this month, Sagittarius, and don't drag your feet anymore, okay? I'm going to leave it at that. I hope next month's reading will be a lot more optimistic and that we have new energies coming through, okay? I wish you all the best. Please take care of yourself. Bye-bye.